How you making, Bone Gang? And welcome back to another one. We're going to be testing out this lure, the Yoda Worm from 10,000 Fish, a Catchco company. Now, this lure is kind of old news, but uh, because of old snail mail through this whole pandemic and all, I didn't get it till like two months after I ordered it. So, you know, you probably don't even care about it anymore unless you haven't heard about it. And uh, we're going to go out and test it out. It's got a bunch of different ways of rigging it up on the back, so we're going to try a number of those and see if we can't catch some fish but um if you notice it's a different background it's because we are at a cabin me and my wife back there uh and we're doing actually a little virtual conference online so but we got some time in the morning so we're gonna go run out do some fishing and so we only got about three hours of daylight so we're gonna get after it right now So if you're not familiar with the Yoda worm, this is what it looks like. It's got this really shaky tail. It's got all of these ribs going through it. I like the profile. And it has on all four sides, actually, it has this split right there where it'll hide your hook. See? Make it weedless. Right now, I just got it on a uh, weed, uh, weightless Texas rig. But it's on all four sides. You even got it on the, the two sides right here as well as top and bottom. So this here is a two-tone. You got kind of a watermelon seed up top and then a little bit more of a chartreuse with some silver sparkle and all of it so like i said right now i'm just gonna throw it a texas a weedless texas rig and i'll see if we can't get a bite well i didn't get to go exactly where i wanted to go this morning because they got a couple storms rolling in and if you guys been around a while you know how i feel about storms on the water so far not so good but check out how this lure looks in the water i got it on that texas rig i'm almost throwing it just kind of like a like a jerk bait Looks like a fish to me. Alright guys, I'm gonna be kind of dual wielding. I got the weightless Texas rig still on there, but I threw on this this spinner. See if they want something moving a little bit faster, a little bit more shiny. Oh look a dove. It's dove season too. Should be hunting. Oh! Oh! What we got? Oh we got one! Yeah, buddy! On the Yoda worm. Look at that. I guess it works. A little extra shiny. Did the trick. I guess they want it moving a little faster than what I was doing. Just a little guy. Ooh, boy, we got your lip good, huh? It's all right. Thanks, bud. Pretty little guy. Yeah, he's All right, man. Thanks for coming out. And the release. All right. Well, got the skunk off. Can't get us another one. Well, it looks like somebody's party didn't end too well. Got a balloon out here in the bayou. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, in the tree. And by the way, guys, I am not affiliated or sponsored by any of these guys. I just thought it was an interesting lure, and I wanted to give it a shot. So I figured, hey. You know, why not make a video about it and let you guys know about it? I do love that tail, man. That tail's got some action. Just trying to hold it still. It's flopping all over the place. And here comes the rain. Uh-oh. Starting to get a little heavier, though. I don't know if y'all can see how that tail moves in the water. You probably can't see it from this. But it vibrates. It's not, not as much as a swim bait, but it does have a cool little wiggle. I'll put some... uh underwater footage in there for y'all maybe y'all so you can see it there you go check that out all right just to change things up i'm putting it on a, a swim jig a little white and chartreuse swim jig not a big jig guy not because i don't like them just because i've uh, never really used them much so like to try things new, try new things out. So let's give it a try. And nothing. I'm gonna attempt to skip this jig under this tree. What? I did it. Almost look like I know what I'm doing. Oh, not that time. I'm not sure what the difference is between this swim jig and that spinner bait, but 
the tail seems to be moving a lot more on this than it was on that spinner beat. Really, people? That's just terrible. Well, it looks like we caught us one of those big tree pounders. As you can see, I switched over to... Check. Ooh, what was that? That was my coffee. Oh, no. Well, we switched over to one of these here chatter baits or bleated jigs. Depending on what you want to call it. Ain't doing much better on that, but I don't blame the uh, Yoda worm. I just blame where we're fishing. I'm going to get a video of this one underwater too so y'all can see how it swims. Got a nice little action under the water with this blade of jig shaking. Shaking and baking. Like I said, I'm a little late to the game. This thing's been out a while and uh, and it took a long time to get to me because old snail mail, but I wanted to give it a shot. You know, I think I like this thing. Pretty good as a trailer. Use it as a Texas rig. It's got all kinds of ways you can rig it up. I bet you'd be really cool on a shaky head, but we got so much vegetation right here that that would be a disaster trying that out. You know, all in all, I'm pretty impressed with it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, for whatever reason, just leave that in the comments below. Not that you just didn't like the video, but tell me why you didn't like the video in ways I might be able to, you know, make it better next time. Or, or tell me what else you guys want to see. So, uh, yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.